Well, hello there, blade lovers, and welcome back once again to another fixed blade review here on this old sword blade reviews. I have something today that uh, came in from Best Tech. You don't see too many Best Tech fixed blades, but when they do come out, they're generally of a higher quality and no exception in this case. So, what we have here. And I'll show you the end label on the box. Is the Heidi Blacksmith number two? I never received the first edition, which was quite smaller. So this is uh, kind of like an XL knife, but <clears throat> the uh, profile and the blade uh, grind and so forth are entirely different on this one, near as I can tell. So let's take a look at it. You can see we got a nice rock pattern on the handle. It's not very tall in here. It's a lighter weight knife, and there's your branding on the tang of the knife. Interesting. And it is also numbered um, 015, so 15 of 200. Not a bad number. And it easily thumbs off. I did not find any mounting hardware in the box. And um, that's fairly unusual for companies like uh, Best Tech and Civivi and uh, some of the mainstream Spyderco and whatnot to not give you any clip. But maybe they're all tired of giving us tech locks that we don't use. <laughs> Could be, right? Uh, at any rate, personally, I have lots of different mounting hardware that I can uh, salvage from other knives, extras that I've bought. DCC clips, uh, ulti clips, tech locks, straps, what have you. So um, maybe that's the way they want us to go. I just thought it was a bit unusual. I'm not going to really knock them for it. You got plenty of grommets. You got doubles up here. You got them in the mid and you got them down here. So if any of you have this knife or know of this knife and say that you did get mounting hardware, let me know. Anyway, thumbs off easily. And there we have the beautiful compound ground blade of S35VN and fairly thick stock for a knife. This, uh, I don't know what I want to call it, small. It's kind of a medium. It's, um, we're going to get the measurements in a moment, but certainly plenty of handle. The one complaint I have is how close your finger comes to that heel. And that heel, you can see, is not really cut forward enough, at least for my tastes. Uh, if I hang on to this knife, what I'll do is take a diamond file and just get rid of that point right there. Um, I don't think it'll influence the sharpening. You've got a uh, pretty good plunge grind there. Should get a lot of sharpenings out of uh, the edge, but you know, you never know. I don't know that I'm going to bring it down like a quarter inch or whatever, eighth of an inch in sharpening it. Any way, got a hollow grind here, got a flat grind in through the belly and the tip. Pretty, I was going to say even a bevel there, but it's really not. We have a little steeper angle here on the hollow. We have a little lower uh, grind, it would appear. You can see where it differentiates right there on the belly. Um, comes through pretty sharp. Not extremely bitey, but I wouldn't want to push too hard and slide my finger on that. Maybe we'll try a paper cut or something uh, before we're done here today. Anyway, uh, the handle on this one, and it comes in a few varieties, Handle on this one is carbon fiber, and it does come, I think, in a micarta, and uh, I think it does come in a bead blast. Um, I will put the links up there at the in the comments, and you'll get to uh, take a look for yourself. Uh, this one came from White Mountain, and don't forget, if you are shopping at White Mountain, you can get 10% off by using my discount code Old Sword, all one word. Some really decent effect of jimping there. I mean, very, very grippy 
and a little on the sharp side. Uh, if I go light on that, it's not too hard on the thumb. Once I press down, my thumb isn't going anywhere. And interestingly, you got the same thing going on on the pommel. And it's uh, even with the handle slabs. Handle slabs come off with a slotted screw. Very interesting. Only on one side, which is good, which means these go through and meet in the middle. So let's do some measurements and then we can talk some more and do some comparisons with the Blacksmith Heidi number two. Eight and a quarter inches, maybe just a teeny bit more overall length. And um, like a 3.9 inch blade with a cutting edge of about the same, right around 3.9 inches. Not bad. It's a good sized knife. Not too big, not too small. In millimeters, let's see what we got for blade stock. 3.8 millimeters. If we switch to inches, 0.14 and a fairly thin handle of only 0.49. So uh, the question will be, is there enough to hang on to? if you're using this guy for EDC. And let's see what it weighs without the sheath. In ounces, we've gotten only 3. Point, we're going to call it 3.8. If I put the sheath on, we get 4.7. Okay. That's a very light knife particularly for a fixed blade. So we may, if I were to take the slabs off, and I'm not today, uh, you may see some lightning holes and skeletonizing in the, uh, in the tang of the knife. But, you know, for a knife with not too tall a handle, it's got a nice contouring there, a nice palm swell. And... Uh, it tapers in nicely there for the pinky, which is a smaller finger, obviously. And where the middle finger goes is where the palm swell is. And I can reach way out here. The thing I like is that this, you know, this is light and fits well in the hand. I mean, I'm, this, this is confidence inspiring, not hand filling, but it sucks itself right into the hand. No problem. I don't feel as though I have a tentative grip on that at all. If I were to go fancy and go point down, I could do that. If I want my thumb to be comfortable, I'd have to come all the way to the end, so I'd have plenty of reach there. Whether or not you'd want to use this particular blade geometry for that, I'm not sure. we got a nice swedge at the top with a uh, spine that continues thick right to the tip. So you're going to have a durable tip, an S35D end, a good tough steel. Um, Nice edge holding capability. We've got the uh, Best Tech logo there, pretty small. And we've got a B on this side for what I'm not sure, maybe you know. And we have the steel branding there, S35VN. So um, these are coming in over 200, I think it's around 220 ish. So uh, not an inexpensive knife. Uh, by any means, uh, you do have some fairly quality material. Someone out there may say S35VN, sort of run of the mill, good steel at this point, with better steels out there, especially since we got Magna Cut now, and of course you've got M390, you've got the S20V, and so forth. Anyway, let's do a compare. There is the blacksmith Heidi. <clears throat> Excuse me, frog in his throat. Here's the Street Beat from Spyderco, a smaller knife, shorter knife by you know, a good inch and a half with a blade a good inch shorter. Here's the Tamashi from Civivi, a design by Bob Trezuola. 
And the Tamashi is going to come in longer, it looks like. Yeah, about three quarters of an inch longer. And it's got a full four inch blade. So um, depending upon what how you measure it, so it's got a tilted forward handle on that. If we go from the top of the handle, the blade is close to the same. However, since it cuts back, we've got a little more cutting edge. So, uh, yeah, I mean, different blade profile, a little narrower and a little longer. But um, this is a beautiful knife. If you've never picked one up and handled it, it, the ergos on this knife are really good. D2 steel, which was maybe a little disappointing for some, and they haven't changed it yet. But, you know, could be that we'll see a uh, upscale model of the Tamashi E in the future. Here is one of my favorites, the Bastinelli. And it's the Bastinelli. I forgot the name. It's the chopper. How could I forget that it's the chopper? Well, I did. <laughs> um, I don't know. I just don't get the impression of chopper when I see a knife this size. But um, you can see that it sort of is a little on the shorter side, but a little taller, a good deal taller in the handle. Actually, I'll take that back. Yeah, it's slightly longer, ever so slightly longer. You could even call it really the same size. So when we're looking at different perspectives here through the camera, it's kind of hard to determine sometimes. And uh, of course, uh, each of these comes with a some form of kydex or bolteron sheath. Um, love the ergos on the chopper, by the way. Just uh, not always fond of trailing point blades for usefulness, but um, you can't beat the handle on this one. One of the most comfortable handles going on a knife this size. And uh, see, this one does come with the um, kind of a reinforced nylon plastic weave kind of a belt loop, which is one way to go with these size knives. I did say that we would try to do some cutting with this, so let's do that. All righty. Now we'll try the left hand today. Let's see if we do a little better than we do sometimes. I'm going to try the main portion. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's try the forward belly portion. Aha. So, kind of hard to do on a, on a rounded, do a paper cut on a rounded part, but not bad. But the hollow portion, definitely very, very sharp. So there is the Blacksmith Heidi number two. Again, for a light knife that's right around four inches. Um, very nice and probably going to be fairly carryable. The only thing you'll need to do, speaking of carry, is either drop it in the pocket, which is not a bad proposition with this one since you can thumb it off so easily. Or... <clears throat> Provide your mounting hardware of your choice. Hope you enjoyed this review. Don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. I'll be back soon. Be well.